Hey. Tony? How you doing, man? So nervous. Take a deep breath. Why don't you step on out here? Good looking guy. Right? Why would he lie? This is Tony. This is Colleen. So, uh, hello. How you doing? Nervous. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I think you're only slightly more nervous than Colleen is. I don't know if that's possible right now. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> I'm awesome. All right, well, that's nice. That's <laughs> no awesome. one has ever walked yeah. out the door and said, I'm awesome. Nice to meet you, finally. Nice to finally meet you, too. But why did you say that I told you I was 25? I've never once told you I was 25. And when did you send me hundreds of dollars? I apologize. I, honestly, I was just scared. Um, I kind of just made it up as I went along, which wasn't the most honest thing to do. I have a lot of self-esteem issues, and I was kind of insecure that you wouldn't accept me for who I am. Who are you? Jeremy Antonio. So your name is Jeremy, but you went by Tony. My middle name is Tony. The phone number you have is from Washington. Have you previously lived there? When I was 18, I moved to Washington. And I instantly loved the place. I, I just always felt like, I wish I would have been born there. And I knew I was gonna come back, but I wanted a reason to. So that's why you were looking to meet women in Spokane? Yeah. Why were you pretending to be this other guy on Plenty of Fish? It wasn't the most honest thing to do. I just wanted to see if it would work. I'm not a stereotypical black guy. It makes me more inclined to date Caucasian women because I feel like, you know, I can be myself. I can dress like this. I can, uh, I can watch science fiction movies and do whatever it is that I want to do. I don't want to be viewed as a stereotype. Do you find that's your experience? That's commonly the case. So non-black women generally sort of assume that you're a certain type of person First. because of your skin? Yeah. We have a lot in common. I mean, why wouldn't you let me be the judge of everything? I'm sorry, Colin. No, I, just, I just pray that you can forgive me. I really want to. Just got to promise me no more lies. I'll get on my knees right now. Colleen, these last couple months changed my life. I never want to lie to you. I just want to make you happy. I'm sorry. I'll do anything to keep moving forward with you. Still want to marry me? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to give up on you. Something's telling me not to. <laughs> Can we celebrate? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. You guys Definitely. seem to really have the connection that you felt for the past three months in person. And yes, there's going to be some adjusting to the new reality, but this is exciting. Yeah. Hey! hey there she is. Colleen. How you doing? I'm doing really good. Me and Jeremy are trying to work it out. In fact, actually right here with me. What? Oh, oh my God. Hey, there he is. There he is. Look at this guy. Oh my God, you actually <laughs> went up there. I'm impressed. 
Are you just up there temporarily or are you like staying there for a bit? Well, I got an interview at a pizza place out here. So hopefully that goes the way I want it to. I mean, this is what you wanted, right? You you wanted to move back to Washington. Your plan really worked out. Yeah. I thank you guys every day for bringing me to him. I want you guys at our wedding when and if we do get married. Wow, we'd love to come to your wedding. What is your relationship right now with your family, Jeremy? I would try my best to communicate with them, but they're being a little reluctant to talk to me. Well, this is a beautiful thing. Be fruitful and multiply. Yeah, good luck with everything. Bye, Bye guys. guys. And they lived happily ever after.